Hello, Peter. Hello. Peter. Yeah. As soon as you formally ask for a refund, you will get a suppressive person to claim. Now, wait a minute. I'm only hypothetically had a thought about asking for a refund. So hypothetically, don't want to get in trouble here, what would happen if I asked for a refund? You would get a suppressive person declare. Boom, just cut, like that. Just like that. Oh. All your family would cut you off. Yes. Your son at the Flag Land Base will never speak to you again. Yeah. Your daughter at Gold will completely and utterly never ever speak to you again. There are more punishments. Now, the moment you have a suppressive person declare, yes. you are not eligible to come in to do the routing form to get your money back. Wait, wait let me follow this. So, if I get declared, I can't get a refund anyway. Correct. Because I can't come in to complete the routing form. So, is it set up, is the church set up to never give refunds? We do not believe in money going out. We believe in money coming in. We told the IRS about giving refunds to people. Doesn't matter. The church policy is that you do a routing form, a CBB routing form. So should I stay in the church and do a routing form to get a refund? You got crimes. You got missed withholds. You got you got you got if you want a refund and you want to talk like this about getting your money back. You've done things that you're not disclosing. Peter, what have so, you done? So what have if you done? I have crimes? Have you robbed a bank? No. Okay. Have you... Um, no. Have you been... I was just thinking about asking for a refund because I'm looking at paying for a hundred hours of sec checks, and I've already had hundreds of hours of sec checks, and my clear state was invalidated. I don't know if there's any hope in going on. I feel like I'm backed up against the wall. Peter, I gotta tell you. Yeah. The thought you had for a refund tells me you've been reading the internet. Uh, I have been reading the internet, yes. Aha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were you reading Mike Rinder's blog? I was reading MikeRinder'sBlog.com, yes. I just went over to peek at it just to see what the data was. Because I've been reading all the church hate sites on, Marty Rathbun has 300 hate sites. There's hate sites on people, on former members. Mm -hmm. There's so many hate sites that I wanted to go read about these people that the church has hate sites on. And it, who would be an enemy of the church, for example? Anyone who goes on the web and openly criticizes the church. Well, there's other OTs in the church who are doing that. They're on the ah, level now. I, need I know people who are in the church reading the internet and criticizing COB right now. Chairman of the board, COB RTC has done more for the civilization than any living man, including Nelson Mandela. Right now, I need you to go to the next room 
and log every single person who is nattering, criticizing, talking badly about Chairman of the Board, David Miscavige, or the church management. Yeah. I want their cell phone, home phone, email address, and I want you to spy on them. Oh, I am so there. I'm right. all up for spying on these SPs in the church. Right. Nukem. Infiltrate. Yes. Groups on Blended. Facebook. I like what I'm hearing. Back.